Hello friends, welcome to Semi Home Sitting with Abby. Thank you all so much for being here for this week's video. Today I'm gonna to take you with me on a mad cleaning spree, okay? We have hosted dinners the last couple days. And so that means that the main area of our home was clean. We made it all nice and presentable and very clean and everything. But throughout the whole week, I've just been really busy with a lot of things. The main areas, like I said, got cleaned, but I kind of let everything else slip. I have this great app called Home Tasker. This is not sponsored or anything, but I just found this cleaning app as a way to keep me on track. This is how you can tell that I've been slipping with some of these things because I've been like really avoiding some of the items and they're like a week, over a week overdue. I'll put a link to this app below, but basically we're gonna do pretty much everything on this list today and I'm gonna take you with me. It's gonna be a great cleaning spree. If you have a cleaning list that is backed up, come clean with me, we can do it together. Let's get it tackled. My son's down for a nap, so I'm gonna knock out as many things as I can as quick as possible. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so here's how I'm gonna do this. I have my cleaning app. I'm gonna kind of do it by room. Like I'm just gonna grab an item off the list and then we'll do that and I'll show you but i got this cute little timer at target it's from magnolia she always makes the cutest stuff and i got it actually for my kid for you know if i say okay we need we have like two minutes left or whatever and he doesn't really know what that means but when the timer goes off you can say okay we're done with this thing we're moving on so i have this timer but i'm going to use it for myself today and i'm going to set timers for each of the tasks and try to beat the timer i think that will go well i'm going to start with Let's see, washing the dishes. I have dishes in the sink, I have dishes on the counter, I have pots everywhere. I don't want it, this to turn into a situation where all my pots are like soaking for two days. So I am going to set a timer for 10 minutes. That might not be enough with these like big pots, but I'm gonna set myself a timer for 10 minutes and hopefully the dishes will be done by then. Let's get going. Three and a half minutes away from the deadline. I'm not close. Well, I'm kind of close, but I don't think I'll be finished with big pots in three and a half minutes. Okay, all the small stuff is done, but all the big pots are not done. So I'm gonna set another timer for the big pots and putting away the other dishes. in the disposal and my timer's done so I'm gonna try to find that. It was a metal toothpick. Okay all the small stuff is done. I have like the big pots. I have one, two, three, four big things and I spent one more minute cleaning out the mini crock pot so that's done. I'm gonna set myself a timer for 10 more minutes to clean out the big stuff. I'm hoping I'm overshooting that <laughs> so I feel successful. All right, let's do it. Okay, that only took five minutes for all the big stuff. So now I'm gonna race to put the clean dishes away in the remaining five minutes. I forgot a bowl. Okay, so now, since that is done washing the dishes, I'm going to, I don't know if you can see on my screen here. I don't think you can. I will take a screen recording to show you, but basically you can go down to whatever your task was, and then it says like how many days overdue is it is. You swipe over and click done, and I did that today, so I click done. Okay, next on my agenda is wipe down all the countertops and the sink. I'm in desperate need of this after the party yesterday, so I'm gonna clear everything off. And then also I have a couple things I need to go down in the basement in our storage, so I'm gonna just 
you know, stage those in an area to take them down the next time I go. So five minutes on the clock. Just as a note, right now I'm not caring at all if things fall on the floor because I'm gonna vacuum and mop the whole thing. Also, these are Branch Basics, which are like the non-toxic cleaning supplies. And so I believe you get a discount, maybe. Anyway, I'll leave the I'll leave the link just for reference. You may get a discount on the link, I'll have to check. But it always smells great and does the job. And we're done. Can't even begin to describe how much more put together I feel. So let's mark that one off the list. Wipe down countertop and sink, done. I also have on here cleaning the dishwasher. I got these dishwasher cleaning pods. So like once this load is done, I have to take out all the dishes, make sure the dishwasher is totally empty, put one of those pods in and run it on a full normal cycle. So I'm gonna try to do that today because it never, I've never actually done it before because it keeps falling. Like since I got this app and I realized, oh, that's something I should do is clean the dishwasher every month or whatever, every other month. I, it always falls at a wrong time because as soon as I'm taking dishes out, I'm putting more dishes in. There's never a time really when it's like empty. So I'm going to try to make that concerted effort today to have it empty and put the tablet in and just run one wash cycle. It's not gonna be hard. I said that there were toys out in the living room as well, which, I thought there were, but my husband cleaned them up this morning, it looks like, before we left. So that one I don't need to do, but it's only 12.30. So there's gonna be plenty of more toys and games to clean up as we go throughout the day. So I usually just check that one off right before bed. I'm gonna leave that one for now. It's time to clean and scrub the bathtub because this is the one I wanna do the least. It's the one I've been putting off the most. It's two weeks overdue at this point. So I'm gonna go do that. All right, I'm breaking out this tool. I saw this on Operation Nikki, I think is her name, her Instagram. It has a long handle. You don't have to bend down a ton. So we're gonna get in here with scrubbing bubbles and scrub this. I also have another more hard bristled head for this. So we'll see what it needs. I think this might be all that we need for now, but we'll see. I did end up using the harder bristled brush head for this. It works really great. And then for those little side slits, like where your arms rest, those are really hard to get with any of these brushes. So I have this other smaller brush that I used that I will also link below. I didn't take a video of that one, but just know it's like a smaller, more detailed brush that you can get in all those nooks and crannies. So I'll put that in the description. Okay, now as you can tell, the rest of my bathroom needs help. The bathtub is scrubbed. But I'm going to clean up all the clutter, clean up all the clothes on the ground, put them in the washing machine, and then wipe down all the counters, the tile around the tub, and then that other counter. Like everything is a mess right now. I need to put a lot of it away. So let's do that. This pile of clothes that I've just, you know, usually I'm pretty good at keeping my closet good, but I got some new clothes from my mom, some from online that I have to take the tags off and I've just been avoiding like taking all the tags off, washing them, getting them all set. So I'm going to do that right now and actually like hang up the stuff we can hang up, wash the stuff I need to wash, get it all set. All of these things that I've been putting off, max five minutes. It's not a big deal, but it's like, I have a whole day with my son. I get tired. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna sit down for a minute. You know, once he's in bed, 
then I end up like scrolling for an hour or something or like just watching a show or not doing anything productive which sometimes is good because you need that relaxation but sometimes it's not good and it just gets me behind on every single other thing that I meant to do and then I have to have days like this where I am just work work working non-stop cleaning so I'm trying to avoid that and overall I've been so much better I don't know if you if you're familiar with my channel you might have um you might be familiar with like I implemented a cleaning schedule a while back and I was like oh this is so much better and I um you know and I really need to stick with this and for the most part I really have like I now have this app where it tracks all my tasks it's super easy to go off like a checklist and just check them off as I go so I've been overall really good but that was when I had been taking a huge break from YouTube so now as I'm doing YouTube again I'm like oh I think some things are <laughs> falling through the cracks cleaning wise. So I'm just trying to get it all back together and figure out the balance of everything. You know, every stage, especially with having a kid is a little bit different. So I think I get the schedule down and then something changes and we're back to square one starting figuring out a schedule. So um, yeah, it's just been different, but I'm in this new phase now. I wanna do this clean reset and then get back on my cleaning checklist grind so but overall it's been a million times better than it was I got a cordless vacuum as well which literally changed my life I vacuum twice a day now and I used to vacuum once every month or something because I just hated doing the cord I would sweep everything and then once my carpets got so bad with like my shedding hair I would clean it but you know it would be really bad and I procrastinated so much and so just getting the tools that are more practical has really helped me as well okay these things are old baby clothes so I'm gonna go put them in the basement or stage them in the area with the other stuff that needs to go in the basement I'm gonna wash this set and I gotta hang up these Um, take a minute and mention here you may see me in this video using like half microfiber cloths and half paper towels <laughs> because you know my last cleaning video when I posted it people suggested hey you're using a lot of paper towels you might want to use microfiber cloths they work better and also you know more environmentally sustainable and all that stuff so I was using microfiber and then I realized they were kind of dirty like they weren't smelling that great and so I just decided to throw all of them in the wash and switch to paper towels and that worked for today so this is what the bathroom looked like once i was all done cleaning and the closet and now for my least favorite the toilet i cleaned the inside of the bowl like two days ago i should do the whole outside which is honestly even worse than the inside so that's okay let's get it over with Oh, and I refilled my all-purpose cleaner. So basically how Branch Basics works, again, it's not sponsored or anything, it's just awesome. For each type of cleaner, they have like one concentrated solution and you just add different amounts of water and soap. So there's the water line, so I filled it to there with water and then you fill up the rest of the way with soap. For like window cleaner, it's distilled water, 90% of it, and you just add a couple drops of the cleaner. So after the toilets is all of the windows and mirrors and I'm gonna be using that glass cleaner to do that and that's actually right here I got the glass bottles because I'm turning into a freak about plastic and it says fill bottle with distilled water add one drop of the concentrate and that is your glass cleaner so I got all-purpose and glass using the same concentrate but two different bottles
Okay, trash. I'm also taking out and replacing the bag. I think the bathroom is pretty much done. I'm not gonna film cleaning the shower because we're having a situation with hard water. The glass is like totally cloudy and not great and I'm trying different things to deep clean it. So I won't put you through the pain of that. Okay, my son is still sleeping. I feel like I'm kind of on borrowed time here. So let me just check what all I got done because I kind of just went on a tangent and cleaned a bunch of things. Okay, so cleaning, clean and scrub the bathtub, done. Clean and disinfect the toilet, done. Wipe marks off mirror and faucets, done. Clean and scrub sink in the bathroom, done. Tidy up the closet, done. Okay, I cleaned or I, okay, I wiped down the mirrors in the bathroom, but I need to clean and wipe this mirror in our bedroom that we have. So that'll take two minutes, that's gonna be easy. My bedroom is still a disaster. This is what it's looking like right now. So that is what I'm gonna do, assuming my baby doesn't wake up. Now, don't judge, we have ordered a new bench for this. This was my failure of upholstering and we just couldn't get rid of it because my husband likes to sit there to play games. So we still have it. It looks absolutely horrible. I didn't try to go back and fix it. So it's just like deteriorated and it looks just awful. So don't judge that. Just look at everything else and everything else will be cleaned too. But first things first, I'm going to go wipe down this mirror. Now I get to mark that off the list. Something else on my list is organized storage. That usually for me means, I put this on my list periodically to remind myself to like break down boxes in the garage or move the storage from the basement. I broke down all the boxes like two days ago. So I'm gonna mark that as done for that week. And then it'll actually come up again. You know, I have it a week, as a weekly reminder. So there's a bunch of storage that I have to organize in the basement, but since I can't do this all at once, I'm just gonna mark it as done because I did the boxes two days ago and then let the next week come up and go down and organize like all of my food storage in the basement. So I had these racks that were by our windows downstairs and I know you're not supposed to, to have your food by the light. So I've been meaning to move the racks all the way to the other side of the, the basement and go through all the food because some of it's expired. So I need to do that. That's on my to-do list. That's gonna fall underneath the organized storage section. But since I broke down boxes and did some storage organization a couple days ago, that's what I'm marking for the week. I can't do it all at once. I have to keep reminding myself that. So I'm staging it. So I'm going to mark it as done. And then when it comes up in five more days or whatever it is, I will go start working on the food storage situation. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick rapid uh, bedroom clean. It's kind of like multiple areas on here. One is like uh, wash the clothes, make the bed, just clean up any miscellaneous dishes and stuff. So I'm going to just do a time lapse and show you me cleaning up the whole bedroom. Okay, I have made my bed. I have, hmm, that's pretty much all I did. I just went around and like cleaned up more clutter in the uh, living room and everything. There were some toys, so I felt like I just did a decent amount, but only one thing I can actually check off the list. Oh, the other thing was wash and dry clothes. I did start the laundry machine with all the clothes that were on the floor in the master bedroom, so. Done. Mix here to say hi, and I think the baby's waking up. So my son did end up waking up at this point, so I fed him lunch, I got him all set up, and he was sitting there eating, and I decided to get some of my more miscellaneous items checked off the list that I didn't think would take too long, so wiping down, spraying and wiping down the windows, the window sills, wiping down my appliances, things like that that were just easy, sort of in the kitchen area to just knock out while he was sitting there and kind of watching me and eating.
Okay, this never usually gets this bad, but this is horrible. So I'm tackling this now. If you are familiar with my channel, you may know that I'm trying to move into sort of non-toxic cleaning supplies. So I'm not using a lot of like scent boosters or Febreze or dryer sheets or anything, but I have switched to essential oils on wool dryer balls and I popped one in there and that seems to be working great. At this point, I also decided to mark the you know washing of my actual washing machine in there, cleaning my washing machine, and I've been using a fresh, which has been really working great. I do this once a month, and if you don't have an app, the side of the fresh box has like a checklist of each month so that you can check it off if you don't have an app. Also, this cleaning cart or this laundry cart has changed my life with organization, and it's been so perfect. While I'm at it, I'll just move the OxyClean back to its home. You know, I'm working on non-toxic cleaning supplies, but sometimes you gotta bring in the big guns. Okay, this is what the app looks like. So I checked off the washing of the washing machine and now I'm going to fold and dry clothes. I decided to fold and put all the clothes away while we were watching a TV show, me and my husband. So I didn't film a ton of this, but I folded them all up, hung everything on hangers, put it away. It took a decent amount of time, but I got it done. And then after the show, I came out and unloaded the dishwasher so that, like I was mentioning before, everything could be out of the dishwasher and I could add dishwasher pods into the dishwasher. Now, as I mentioned, I hadn't done this before. So usually you add one dishwasher pod to the, the normal, uh, you know, place you put the, the dishwasher cleaner. I don't know if that's making sense, but usually you just put the pod in the normal spot. But since this was my first time deep cleaning it, you put another tab just in the bottom of the dishwasher. So I did that, turned it on a normal cycle and cleaned up all the trash from the dishwasher cleaner and called it a night. Now the night before I had run out of both time and energy to vacuum or to finish my list. So I woke up the next morning and got right back to work. I am using this vacuum, which I again will link in the description below because I'm not kidding you when I am saying that this has changed my life. I used to absolutely hate vacuuming because of the cord and trying to maneuver it around couches and coffee tables, you know, it's just a pain. And I didn't want to get rid of this vacuum cleaner that I had because my parents had gotten it for me when I graduated college and it was a nice one. But I, so I was just sticking with this vacuum that wasn't practically working for my life. And it would cause me to like barely ever vacuum. Honestly, it would take way too long for me to just get up the, <laughs> not courage, but <laughs> get up the gumption to get my vacuum machine out, maneuver the cords, all that. As soon as I got this cordless one, I'm vacuuming like two, three times a day now. Anytime there's a little mess, I'm just whipping it out, vacuuming. It's really not a big deal. So then I tried to mop and my mop was dead. So I came back and did that later, but the whole floor did look amazing after I mopped. And then I just did a couple other miscellaneous chores and called it a day. So I cleaned the toaster. You'll see in a minute, I'm wiping down light switches. But that was my day of cleaning. It was honestly really satisfying to just get the whole list checked off, to get everything really looking good and looking fresh. And, you know, like I said, this isn't the norm to do like a huge cleaning reset. This app has really helped me keep on track, so I highly recommend it. But, you know, every once in a while you get behind, you gotta do it. So that's all for this week's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Make sure to subscribe and like the video, and I'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.